In this little chat, I'm going to encourage you to be part of the nice people squad and uh, and and be a positive, uplifting person and stand up for, for people who are getting bullied or who are downtrodden at the moment, uh, you know, unless they deserve being there. Um, so what, here's what's bring, what brings us up. Last week, I was fortunate enough to lead a team in setting a, a world record, and it has garnered some attention. Not a lot of attention, but on my little tiny scale, uh, it's it's gotten a lot of attention. The initial video we put out has over 60,000 views and uh, lots of forums in our niche area that people are talking about it and reposting the press release, etc. And I'm going to just use a different example to, to chat about this, something I don't know anything or at least not very much about. But let's say that somebody had a Jeep and and they built up this Jeep that could climb up a certain rock wall uh, 100 yards high and at whatever angle or slope. And and they climb it and it's the new world record for the the steepest, longest uh, rock ever climbed by a Jeep. Well, when the folks who did that, who put these years of effort and thousands and thousands of dollars into figuring out what the right tires were, which ones grip that particular kind of uh, rock the best, and, and what torque or, I don't know, spin rate or whatever should the transmission have and should each wheel have independent power all these things that i I think or i i imagine four-wheel driver type people to to care about they have put so much thought and effort into it they finally accomplished this feat that even 10 15 years ago nobody ever thought would be possible and then they they put out the press release and say golly we're so shocked and happy and thrilled and excited we put hard work into it and here's what we were able to accomplish and by the way everybody else who's interested in this little niche area here are all the specs these are the lessons we learned um we just want to help advance the sport of rock climbing with four-wheel drives and the haters (laughs) I had heard it, people refer to, to haters before, but I'd never really considered what a hater was or, oh, yeah, well, how they think, what it is they do. But in our little example, which is different than the one I gave, but in our little circumstance, I cannot believe the number of people who take time out of their, well, maybe not busy, days to put down or to minimize the accomplishment. And, and to use the four-wheel drive example, it would be somebody saying, well, yeah, they, they might have climbed it, but, you know, it, they used a special Jeep that was specially built for it. And then somebody else will get on and say, well, yeah, I don't see any practical purpose in that. You, there are no roads in the country that have a rock that's, you know, that big that you have to climb. And, and somebody else saying, well, yeah, and they said they went out and they tried it a thousand times and they didn't get it until their 200th try. And so, you know, it should only count as a world record if the first time they ever tried it, they had success. Or uh, another popular one is, uh, yeah, I bet they couldn't do it again. Well, maybe not. Like, if they're trying it, think it's going to take a thousand times and you get it on your 200, there's a real good chance that your next 800, you're not going to get it. And then all of a sudden, you'll get it again. Um, but but the, 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 I don't know, the type of person who would take time out of their day to get on and make these comments, rather than just look at the, the new record and say, yeah, that's bad, who cares? And then move on to something that brings joy to their life um, or that they care about. But instead to linger on this and say, hey, wait, here's some people that are really happy at the moment and and really giddy. What can we do to try to bring them down a notch? How can we minimize their accomplishment? How can we hurt their feelings? Whatever. I, I, I just can't believe that there are so many people that think that way. So the point of this is, yeah, partially to rant, but mainly to encourage you to do what I have started doing the last couple days, and that is looking for people who are being attacked by these haters. And it it could be whatever your niche area is. If you're in the music industry or uh, or that's your interest, or if you're into birding or uh, philosophy or or whatever, kind of look around for the people who are going out on a limb. Maybe they're trailblazing a little bit. Maybe they try something nobody's tried before. They come up with a new idea and everybody's jumping on them and trying to beat them into the ground and just attacking them. The haters. My encouragement is to do what I'm doing and kind of jump in there and leave a positive comment of encouragement to those folks. Um, it, it, it probably means a lot. Part of what you do when you do something for bragging rights is you brag. And then you want people to either just go, eh, yeah, that's cool, and then move on. 
or you want them to say, wow, that must have taken a lot of hard work. Way to go. Uh, yeah, it's not my area of interest, but man, that sounds really cool. Like, do that. Just be nice to people. So, this is the nice people squad. Um, it's an informal thing that I am definitely not the leader of, but you should be a leader of yourself and of your own little uh, nice person squad. I think it'd be really neat if a bunch of us would go out and just make a point a couple times. We'll go leave some nice comments on some social media or forum or whatever, Odyssey, where people are getting attacked for something. Just go be nice. Be that little ray of sunshine. That's kind of what, uh, it's, a, it's a good part of being a good person, isn't it?